All right, we are back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the propeller governor. So we've got, this is a Hamilton Standard 1 Alpha 4 dash Golf 5. Um, this particular governor is used uh, with counterweight type propellers. Remember that the Jacobs used on the UC-78 um, used one of three types of propellers. You had a fixed pitch wooden propeller. You had a two position ground adjustable. And then you had the constant speed uh, propeller that used counterweights. Uh, and this particular governor is used in, in the last of those options, which is the counter speed, I'm sorry, counter weight style propeller that was, you know, it's constant speed as well. So um, if you look on the governor, essentially there are, there's three different areas. We have our head assembly, our body assembly, and our base. Uh, now, Hamilton Standard manufactured lots of different small variations of these um, and you know which head body and base you need depended on which application um, you know was it a hydromatic propeller was it a constant speed propeller um, you know and obviously fixed pitch propellers and ground adjustable propellers don't need propeller governors so uh, this is not a hydromatic uh, propeller governor this is for counterweight style propellers now um, if we go ahead and take this head off we're going to go and remove the head real quick i've removed all of the hardware that holds this all together um so this is the head uh we're going to set the the body the base and the flyweight assembly aside so if we look inside here um that little geared lever back there in the back uh just comes out here and this right here attaches to the propeller lever in the flight station so this is how the pilot selects his rpm does he want more or less Okay. Now down inside here, you can see that little spring. Um, there's this little ledge here or land that actually sits on our flyweights right here and here. Okay. And then there's a, a, a bearing also. And then the stem here, this is our pilot valve. But in any case, um, by moving the prop lever in the flight station, you can control the amount of spring pressure that's going to be on this speeder spring. Now, when this head is installed onto the body, again, this sits on your flyweights here, your counterweights. Oh, they are flyweights. Um, and by again, by varying this, you adjust that pressure. And this actually doesn't move while it's installed. All it does is increase the that um, spring pressure. So we're gonna we're gonna set the head aside for right now. We're gonna take a look at this. So. When we talk about propeller governors, you know, again, they're trying to maintain the constant speed and RPMs that is selected by the pilot for any given throttle condition. So the way that these work, um, there's, there's three positions, um, and they correspond to a condition that the propeller governor is experiencing. So there's on speed, there's under speed, and then there's over speed. So um, in this particular case, when the flyweights are all the way in, this would be an underspeed condition. When they're all the way out, that's an overspeed condition. And when they are intermediate between those two, that is on speed. And when we are on speed, what that means is, as this engine is rotating like this, and you see that these, these flyweights want to move outboard when we do that, right? So let's see if we can see that, they move outboard. Um, as this engine is rotating, these are constantly trying to move outboard. But because of this downward uh, spring pressure that's pushing on these, um, there's, a, there's a delicate balance. And when we are on speed, that means the centrifugal force pushing these outboard balances that downward spring pressure, and they sit right here in the middle. And that is on speed. And when we're in an on-speed condition, this pilot valve is going to sit inside. Well, actually, it's going to go through this hole, through the center, down into uh, the main drive shaft, well, the pumping drive shaft, and into this base. And it is going, in, in an on-speed condition, it's neutral. So it doesn't allow any oil to go to the engine or to the propeller. And this last one down here is a drain. So engine propeller drain so we don't, we don't care about the drain right now um, for the pilot valve in any case but on speed so the pilot valve is neutral and it doesn't allow oil to go one way or the other now 
when we are in an under speed condition, so that means the airplane and or the engine is going too slow or it's not rotating fast enough for the selected RPM. So under speed, what happens is the flyweights move in, that spring pressure overcomes the flyweights, right? And the pilot valve actually moves in a downward position. It moves down. And since we're uh, when we're under speed, what we want is we want the um, if it's an under speed condition, the engine's it's going too slow, so we want it to speed up. And in order to speed up, what we have to do is we have to decrease the blade angle so that the engine will speed up and go, go back to a uh, a neutral position or on speed condition. So what happens is these come in, right? Pilot valve moves downward, which is downward in inside of our base. And it opens up this port right here. It allows oil to leave the propeller. Essentially, and there, what, what causes the blade angle to decrease pitch is the counterweights, right? Because once you essentially open that valve, oil and those counterweights are going to move toward the lower blade angle, and it's going to cause the blade pitch to decrease. And then you're going to increase engine RPM, and then these flyweights move out because they're going faster. And they're going to move this pilot valve up and essentially they're going to balance. And then when this is back in a neutral position, oil no longer flows between the two when we're on speed again. Now, the other one is overspeed condition. So in this case, what happens is the pilot valve moves upward like that. Um, and that's going to allow high pressure oil to go to the propeller and it's going to increase the blade angle. And essentially, when you increase the blade angle, the engine's going to slow down because you're biting more air. And we're going to return to a on-speed condition. And then our pilot valve then moves back downward to neutral and doesn't allow oil to flow one way or the other. So it's a fairly simple mechanical system. Um, obviously, it took a little while for engineers to figure out how all this works, but that's that's essentially it. Um, so we're going we're gonna to remove this flyweight cup here. Um, now there is a, a little um, retaining ring that fits down in here that keeps this from coming off. I've just got, I've got everything removed um, today because I, I plan on kind of going over the propeller governor today. So anyway, so this is our, our body. We're gonna remove the body from the base. Um, and here we've got the base and the body, which is now upside down. So I'm gonna actually remove this, put it back where it goes in the idler gear shaft. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to grab some hardware too to illustrate one other thing. But essentially, what we have here, um, you can see this is our, our pumping elements. Um, now, um, in the interest of being thorough here, um, I'm gonna get these two slotted set screws out of my bag of hardware here so I can explain what A and B is for. So there's A and B ports on both the, um, the base and on the body. So I've got my two slotted screws here. So um, both of these slotted screws, uh, they fit either both in the A, A hole, or they both thread into the B hole. Um, now, when I was reading through the overhaul manual uh, for this particular model of, of propeller governor, um, I was reading that um, ba basically you can disassemble this propeller governor and you can change these over. And what they do is, you know, the Americans, when we built engines and when we talk about directional references, it's important to remember that we're always talking about aft looking forward. So if you're the pilot sitting in the, in the pilot seat, aft looking forward, okay? Um, aft looking forward, American engines rotated clockwise. And that's what all the, when you put both of these set screws in the A-hole, um, this propeller governor would be set up for an engine that rotates in a clockwise direction. And then you could disassemble it, you could move them over to the B-hole, and now it's set up for an engine that runs 
in a counterclockwise direction. So if you wanted to use this on a British engine, um, which I thought that was fairly unique. So Hamilton Standard developed these propeller governors um, for both American and British engines. You know, it's, it's, to me, that's just really fascinating. Uh, before we move on to the pumping elements, I just wanted to point out that on the main body here, we have, so underneath this, um, just on the inside, you can't really see it too well, but there's a little plunger and a spring. And this is the bypass valve. So remember that when we're in an on-speed condition, we don't want oil moving to or from the propeller, but our gears are still pumping oil and they're providing high pressure oil, you know, if, if need be. And that pressured, pressurized oil has to go somewhere. And this is, it would come out through here and it would be returned to the engine side of the pump. So it just come through this hole here, come up through there, and then through your A-hole right here, and then come inside, it'd be pumped, and then it would leave and then go into this port on your head, and this is like that was the pressure side of the pump. And again, if no oil is moving, it just comes from here, and it leaves out through the, the uh, bypass valve there, or pressure relief valve more accurately. So um, the reason that we even have a pump for this and the reason we don't just use engine oil at engine oil pressure, which is typically 50 to 60 PSI, um, 50 to 60 PSI oil is not strong enough to overcome the force of the counterweights in the propeller. So that's what the point of this is. It steps up that oil pressure such that the propeller can use it. Um, otherwise, um, you know, on the bottom of our base, uh, we do, there is a number, or there are a number of adapters. And for this one, I'm gonna go and grab this out real quick. We have this one, so it's splined directly into here. And it's just a simple square drive, because that's what the Jacobs engine used. So, you know, you could have this exact same propeller governor set up with a different adapter, depending on, you know, whether this also splined into the engine or it was a bevel gear whatever drive method the engine used you could change all of these over to what you needed for the propeller governor which again you know i know how specific engine to airplane configurations can be but when it comes to accessories you know there's a particularly these prop governors you know you needed the one alpha uh four dash golf or five golf golf five wow um and you know you could use this one part and a bunch of different configurations you could use the base in a bunch of different configurations or this head and it would change the model number based on which three and the drive you use so in any case um you know that is it i'm gonna go ahead and place all this stuff back together and well that's pretty much the propeller governor so um i hope somebody found this interesting or learned something um i've had a lot of fun toying with it and I had tore it apart today to go ahead and get it cleaned in in our parts washer right there so um, that's it uh, I'm gonna eventually do all the accessories um, we have the oil pump for the engine um, which is right now in pieces so we've got the main body got our tachometer all of our little pumping gears in here um, got everything in here so uh, I'll do the, the oil pump at some at some point. Um, we'll do the carburetor, the fuel pump, um, the distributor and the magneto. And I think that's it for the engine accessories. And once all the accessories are done, we'll start with uh, getting the engine reassembled. And there's one of the cylinders. So we've got all of our cylinders up here. So we'll do those eventually too. We've still got to pull um, the intake valves, the exhaust valves, on this side intake valves are on this side we'll get all those valves pulled at some point but um you know we're not not quite there yet but anyway i hope everyone has, has enjoyed the video i hope you learned something about propeller governors and um when we get this one all cleaned up stripped of paint and repainted you know we'll make sure that we all know about what it looks like so thanks for tuning in